I'm Andrew Sharp, I'm leader in learning for maths at High Stores School and also do an awful amount of work with the MLA. Um, I help run a group called the MLA Pioneers that do internal training. Um, there's one person from each department who work together and come up with ideas and then spread them down to the rest of the rest of the school and the rest of the staff. In maths it's re been really useful um, for several reasons. Firstly, for teaching, actually sharing resources and developing our schemes of work has come on a lot since we've been using the MLE. We've now got interactive schemes of work with hyperlinks to different websites that are useful for teaching each topic and documents that we've put together, worksheets, PowerPoints, spreadsheets, um, all sorts of useful resources for, for each topic. We can share things very easily with individual classes for homeworks, for example, or worksheets or preparation for the next lesson. Um, it, it easily gets dropped into a box which the children can then access for the next lesson or can use look at notes. For example, I put up all my notes from my A-level lessons after I've finished them on the site that um, they can then use for revision. Um, also, we can set, share things with whole cohorts, which is fantastic. So we can get whole GCSE past papers up there and um, answers so the kids can learn really independently from home using this. Uh, we also have textbooks that we use up there. Um, and we've got important calendars and dates. And it's sort of a one-stop shop for the kids in terms of maths revision and, and maths work. It's getting, and it's getting better and better all the time as we're starting to learn the potential that the MLE has for the school and for learning. So in actual lessons we've used quite a lot on the MLE. So for example um, we can have, we've been filming videos using the film department's cameras and working with them, students filming their own videos of describing how they solve particular problems and sort of tuition videos because being able to talk through and communicate the maths can be a really useful way of consolidating their learning of it. Um, what we've also done is then take some of the children's videos and have them in the lesson and talk about them, use laptops to look at each other's videos and then analyse them and feed back to them about where it can be improved and, and use them for learning so the kids can use their own videos to help revise for topics that they're studying. It can be absolutely fantastic. We've also started to use wikis which can be a really powerful tool. Um, started with, with an IT class where you can have small groups becoming experts on particular topics. Um, you can go off and become experts on prime numbers and produce a page on a wiki about prime numbers where another group will go off and look at square numbers or one group will go off and look at triangular numbers, for example, and produce a different page for each one. So it involves them going off and researching and working as a group and then putting it together. And everyone can see each other's work um, on the wikis and they're, they're remarkably easy to use and the kids have such a high level of... ICT knowledge these days, but it's very little effort get training them to do it. Discussion boards can be really useful for all sorts of reasons. Um, sometimes I'll set some homework that you ha uh, each person needs to post a, a question and respond to a couple of answers on a discussion board. Um, or you can actually use them to respond to some of the videos, put a discussion board with each video so you can discuss how well uh, they think the other group has done with these and, and what they need to develop more. Noticing it's having a real impact, um, especially with the younger kids who've had it several years now and they're coming through and they're, they're very used to revising for maths now. They know how to do it. They go online, they look at the revision checklist that we've published up there and each of those is linked to different My Maths topics or Maths Watch links so they can go off and independently learn. And we've noticed it's had a massive impact with so many kids who now can go home and they just know how to revise independently. Um, it's very easy for them to, to go and find further work to do and to use that. Um, it's also very useful for top-end kids and extending their abilities, or extending the activities they can do. They can go online and we've published lots of reading that would be useful or websites that have got maths games that, that they can do and that's, that's having a large impact as well. We've also launched an initiative this year um, based on the MLE called the Submarine Club which is to help kids get in above sea level and it's got its own website with links to different um, web pages that can help revise, lots of key skills, hundreds of worksheets that parents can do at home with their kids and lots of activities and we've invited um, about parents of 60 different children in to come and talk with their maths teachers and, and talk them through how to use this website and how they can help their children at home in learning maths so it's absolutely fantastic it, it, so frequently we're, we're asked questions of how can I help my child more in, in maths 
and we just point them towards this website that we've set up and it's it's proving to be very useful and lots of parents are now contributing their own ideas that we're adding to the website as we go so it's, it's been a huge success. We're beginning to see an impact from the MLE after it being ingrained for a couple of years uh, on the attainment of our, our children in maths. Um, results are improving whether we can put that down to the MLE or not is, is hard to say but it's definitely it's significantly easier for kids to revise and find out what they have to learn and understand what their strengths and weaknesses are now uh, to do that independently than it was before we started using the MLE. It's, it's had a large impact on children being able to revise independently um, of their teachers. Working on spreading the, the really good practice across the board in every subject and getting a common theme shared throughout the whole of the student site. So when the kids know they want to go and do some geography work, they know exactly where to go and, and where to find it. Um, we're also just, just getting things set up for teachers, making it a lot easier for teachers because when it's easy to do, people will use it more. And what we find is that we'll give them some ideas and they'll come back with better ideas of what they want to do and say, is it possible to do this? And as a group, we'll sit down and go, yeah, that's fantastic. And it's only when you start introducing people to the possibilities of the MLE that they start realising how much of an impact it can have on the teaching and learning in the classroom.